What's up everyone, Don Elmy here, and so today I'm reacting to another Black Veil Brides music video, and I've been getting some requests to react to uh, this one in particular called uh, Knives and Pens, and uh, let's see, such as Alejandro Pessina, he wanted me to react to this one, he says, react to Black Veil Brides, Knives and Pens, that's BVB's first music video ever, Andy is 17 at the time, 2009. Okay, and uh, let's see. Hannah Claw says, You should react to BVB's first music video, Knives and Pens, and work your way up to see how the band has evolved over the years. Warning, if you don't like screamy music, Knives and Pens has some, but it's not bad screaming. Okay. Yeah, so this is going to, so apparently this is going to be uh, one from like way back in the day, like when the band, uh, this is like their first music video, apparently. And let's see, whoa, it's got one over 113 million hits. Man, that's a lot. So yeah, I'm definitely going to take a look at this and uh, see, uh, go back to the band's roots and see what's up. Let's see. Black Veil Brides, Knives and Pens, go. In looking at young people involved in the occult, do you see any particular type of dress? I have a personally observed people wearing uh, black fingernails, having their hair painted black, wearing black t-shirts. Sometimes they will tattoo themselves. Sounds like Black Veil Brides to me. Oh, and except they're all wearing whiteness. They're not wearing black. Oh, oh there we go. Now they, now they are. <laughs> Jesus. He had like emo and uh, derogatory things posted on there. And there's the screaming. <laughs> Poor kid. Wait, that's supposed to be him? That kid? Because they look similar. This is a very. I feel like there's a very there's like a real strong message with this, you know. And I think I'm starting to understand what it is. That, so he lives with. Oh, is that like his older brother? Ah, oh. oh, gave him back his notebook. That's right. You better give it back to him, you little punk.
Oh man. Whoa, okay, it just got free. <laughs> Yeah, when there's blood on someone, it just got real. Hmm. Oh, okay. And uh, so I was just looking back at the uh, kid, which I'm supposed to be like, I'm guessing it's supposed to be Andy as a kid, the lead singer, um, and what he was writing in his notebook, and it turns out it was the lyrics to the video. So I'm guessing the whole message is that he, like, he was bullied and abused by other people, and he's trying to you know, um, write, down, you know, write down his feelings in, like, into like, uh, lyrics, you know, which became this song. I gotta say that is pretty clever. And one thing that disturbed me in the, the, at the beginning of this was uh, the notes, the hateful notes that were put that were posted on that on his uh, locker. One said emo, one said kill yourself, and one, one I believe there were a couple of them that had like derogatory terms for uh, gay people. But um, that actually uh, reminded me of um, um, something. Something the, um, when I when I was uh, messed with in uh, grade school, the seventh and eighth grade. Um, I've had some, kind of something similar uh, to that uh, when, uh, like, at uh, in our lockers that we had, uh, you know, like the names were, were were posted on the top of them, like, like a stick tab, um, and, and like, and somebody wrote "sucks" underneath my name, like that only sucks, and then kicked in the bottom of my locker. The most messed up part about that is. The school denied that, saying that like someone uh, just fell back into it. But the angle of it, like at the bottom part, it just was at the bottom of the locker. The way the angle looked, that dent, it was pretty obvious somebody kicked that in. So, yeah, I wasn't buying that. And uh, and so and what they and part this is the sucks part. The only thing that the school and that the school did, they just wrote that made this not rope, but they just drew this very thin pencil line over sucks. And that's it. You know, they didn't care. Yeah, I was uh, very mistreated by my uh, grade schooler in 7th, 8th grade. You know, they, both teachers and students, they uh, did some pretty bad things, you know. But what I did about it is I exposed them. I purposely left the um, stick tab, you know, sure, I could have torn that, that off, you know, like well, because it said Donnelly sucks on it, show with the thin line over sucks. Sure, I could have torn that off, but instead I just purposely left it there so my parents would be able to see it next time they came to school, so I would expose what the school was doing. I had to uh, expose what was going on because, you know, I, for one, refuse to tolerate such disrespect. And no one, no one should. No one to should tolerate such disrespect, such, uh, such, you know, prejudice, you know, bullying, all of that. Like, no, uh, completely unacceptable. And it, and it just, and it shocks me how school, there are schools out there that allow that, you know? I mean, because like I said, I, I, I'm autistic, you know, like I, um, I was actually, and I was like bullied at, at uh, that grade school because of, for because of the way I was being autistic. I mean, today I barely show any signs anymore, but anymore. But go back to uh, when I was uh, thir thirteen or fourteen. Yeah, there were a lot of signs. Like my autism was more severe back then. But yeah, I'm just glad that um, people like, like take their bad past and like build something good with it, like uh, like Andy did for in this band, you know, because. I mean, I could tell, like, uh, for, and, like, from the video, like, obviously, you know, he was messed with it when he was younger, you know, but he, um, he didn't let that destroy him, you know, because I've heard a lot of cases of where people are never the same after that, so there have been kids who've committed suicide from bullying because they couldn't cope, you know, and it's, and it's just heartbreaking, it's terrible, you know, but I'm just glad that Andy is one of those people who just rose up and just, you know, took 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 his, his pain and, and just turned and did something constructive with it. You know, he been he wrote these songs. You know, became a musician. You know, and uh, I do admire that he uh, was uh, doing something good with um, his troubled past. So yeah, this was a good video. I had a very lot of, a very strong message to it. You know, I like it. I really do. I mean, this band just never ceases to amaze me. Yeah. So. And so, thank you everybody for suggesting this video, you know, because this was, this was a really good one. And uh, definitely make, uh, make more uh, reactions to BVB, and uh, be sure to look for those in the future. So, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to Knives and Pens by Blackfell Brides. Hit that like button if you did, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any suggestions of what I should check out in the future, just let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!